Hello, everyone. This is Friedrich with another turn of war in the Pacific Admirals edition, and we're in uh, April 8th, 1942. Uh, looks like he's still um, unloading here at Port Moresby. Uh, we're hitting his AK anyway. That's good. Severe damage. Nice. Okay. Anyway, um, he's, you know, losing some squads here, but not too bad. Uh, just five non-combat. So, uh, I was just going to point out, I pulled my, any fighters that were undamaged, I pulled out of there. If it's, if he bombs us and I, th if he does not bombard, but he bombs, as I said, I think anyway, last episode, if he, how did I say that? If he bombs and does not bombard, I'm still okay with my choice because uh, I, it's better to be safe than sorry. I, I just feel terrible that I possibly wasted a lot of good aircraft and possibly pilots as well. Yes, the S-28 is doing its job. So he's also invading here, and I um, I didn't like it. Uh, not that it matters. Who, who cares what I think, right? But um, I could tell he didn't have much uh, escort. His escort is at Port Moresby. And I, I had nothing to defend this, and I just thought, why don't we at least make his life miserable, right? And that ship sank, too. Six inch gun hitting this AK. Doing some damage here. Nice. Fires on main deck. So two hits, heavy fire, two shell hits, and these are six inch hits. Heavy fires, heavy damage. I don't know that it's going to sink, but man, that's um, in bad shape anyway. If it doesn't sink, oh, it's going to take forever to get back to base and take a long time to repair. Twenty-six coastal guns. It's not bad. All right, so he is... Uh, he's caught us before we fired, or the captain maybe uh, the commander opted not to fire. Anyway, they didn't. They didn't actually catch us. I the I twenty five here by Pago Pago. He persists, but we. I mean, we can't find him. So what does it matter, right? Okay, the skipjack. He didn't get a shot off before he noticed I, I my take is he noticed some escorts coming at him and decided I better just slink down before I get caught okay uh, we failed to link up proceeding alone. Okay, so some aircraft are splitting up there in um, the Dutch East Indies. Uh, these guys were supposed to fly, I think, maybe, I don't know. We'll find out. But I have these guys on naval attack because he has another invasion force down in that area. Uh, but anyway, yes, he did a sweep, and we had no... <laughs> I think I would have been chewed up with this, especially after that bombardment. So, it's okay. I'm okay that we pulled out. In fact, maybe I'm even happier. All right, he noticed our tanks here, and he's bombing us. Now, one of the reasons he's bombing us, and I need to ask, I need to cover that, but one of the reasons he's bombing us is to get a feel for what's what we have, and now he sees we have 7th Armored Brigade. Um... We lost some disabled men, so. I will LR cap that because maybe we'll get a, a cap trap there. Uh, we're bombing the runway here because I I want to delay his use of it as uh, long as possible. 
But, so here we are bombing it. Uh, supply dump. Now, the supply dump might not matter. He's probably unloaded a lot, so I think he's probably fine there. But anything we can do to delay, slow him down, make him have to use supplies to fix it, plus we're bombing actual supply um, that he has there. Wow, that was m way more impressive with just 18 aircraft than I expected. Now, the, the, the number of hits... Uh, oh, wow. All the bombs are actually sizable bombs. So these number of hits aren't, aren't going to be bad at all. That's, that's actually a really good result, I think. We're going to, uh, hopefully we're going to see some decent damage here. And then we have a follow-up, B six B-25s. Some more runway hits. Can we get some supply as well? This may or may not be as successful. It's a uh, separate six bombers coming in supply dump hits so yeah not bad okay uh it's not too bad for for a separate wave here okay he is escorting this kandari invasion so we might get chewed up here um no not too bad we lost one all right but we're going to have to call this off next turn, next day. Um, yeah, we lost a destroyed uh, B-25. Oh, another another uh, wave. Okay, pretty good. But he, he has a long-range cap, unless he has a, a light carrier or some, maybe one of those CSs. I've never played the Japanese side, so I don't know what those CSs do um or how they work but in any case he has cover if he had, if he's long range capping it oh he may have some decent um what do i say so, oh man well light rain maybe that caused the effect to be minimal uh what was i saying oh if he's long range capping with those claws he may have some ops losses All right, I don't know why I'm staring at this, but it, it's going to be, um, it's funny how this wasn't even as successful as those medium bombers, but severe storms, so that may affect it. Uh, still, we're damaging it, keeping him from fully repairing, and that's that's kind of the goal. And we got from some follow-up bombers, to, um, marauders. I'm just glad they didn't cancel, you know, so that's, I'll take it. Ooh, destroy Jake. And some more base hits. And some more bombers. I'm sure this is annoying to watch as a Japanese player. Two more runway hits. Not That's not very effective, but... And then we're uh, reconning it. So these... It's funny, we just reconned it. These five bombers hit. I wonder if it'd be nice if... Ooh, another... Oh, damaged. Okay. So... Uh, some light damage here and disabled it on combat squad. Okay. A lot of pictures taken. Um, oh, his claws aren't here. Hit, hit, hit. Hmm, man. I'm just... Uh, distraught here. I mean, not really. It's, it's it's just a shame. We had a good opportunity there. Wow, thirty Nels hitting this poor little battalion. Uh, it's it's got to be just white. I think this is all that was in that unit. Like I, I think it's just disintegrated. Uh, Zambuanga here. Some minor casualties.
Ah, so the... Um, uh, what do I want to say? The, why can't I think of the other name of the other bombers? Uh, but anyway, um, apparently these Mitchells are attracting a lot of attention from these Oscars. Damage, damage. We're, we're taking damage. He's taking damage. Damaged. Falls away. Damaged. Spins away on fire. Okay. Can we get at least one hit? Oh, man. Bummer. Okay. Uh, well, see the Hudsons. That's what the Hudsons come in without any... Um, oh, I wonder if because they're flying low. They're coming in at... Well, they come in at 5,000 and drop to 1,000 and whiff. I wonder how many claws he's going to lose from ops and whatnot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's not ours. I wonder if that's that submarine... Uh, so, why submarine? I wonder if that's that uh, AK off of Port Moresby that was shelled to smithereens. Um, nothing doing. Elects not to launch torpedoes. A uh, smart man. Because, I mean, he could get a lucky shot, but chances were he was not going to. All right, what does he got here? DD. Well, I'm just going to push through. I don't know how many ships he has here that are going to bombard. So, yeah, he's few, quite a few destroyers. Um, take some losses on the landing. We have 28 coastal guns. Of what caliber? We, it doesn't say. I, I honestly don't know what we have here. So, and and this report doesn't tell me. So, I guess we'll find out. I did not reinforce this, by the way. Whatever came in the original um, the order of battle is, is the same. All right, 28 six inch guns. Well, maybe not all our 28, uh, maybe not all 28 are six inch. And we hit nothing. It'd be nice to get this AP or AMC. Anyway. Okay, land phase. So even though he had a tag pointing upward, it looks like he's bombarding us. Now it could be he's bombarding with only one of these. I, I honestly don't know. But we will be bombarding and knocking him back into combat mode if he is in move mode anyways. A couple of disabled units here. Bombardment at Wen Chao. He, wa he wants to see what we got here probably. So let's have at it. One disabled squad. So um, this is going to be close. Too close for him to do an attack. Um... Bombardment. Four disabled squads, one non-combat. This this is not too close, but we do have forts, and I, I just don't know how that'll turn out. He's he's gonna have to start attacking at some point to where uh, where our forts out and and our troops as well. Um, we're bombarding in reply. And he did not bombard us. We should be fixing our aircraft and keep flying them out. Trust me, that's exactly what I plan to do. Um, so, yeah, this... I don't know what I'm... Again, it's just, just sitting here staring into space. Two squads. He lost... Uh, well, I mean, it's all disabled, but still. Um, okay. So we're doing a deliberate attack, and he brought in even more guys. We're going to get crushed, but again, these guys are going to be worthless if they don't do something. And we take some casualties. Um, from And now I'm just going to sit put and, and um, sit tight on defense. So. All right. 
So, Kendari, we're bombarding, but nothing happens. This is going to be a walk in the park for him, I believe. And we're bombarding at Port Moresby. Wow, guys. This is insane. I mean, they're only disabled, but that means that this value is just dropping, like, tremendously. And by the way, I've got tons of supplies. I could do this all day. We'll confirm what supplies we have. But before this action started, we have we had over 50,000 supplies. I, I, I mean, if I have to, I'm going to park some transport planes and we'll just fly supplies in, mass supply. I'm, I'm wondering if this is KB here. Uh, but yeah, um, look at this. He even lost two destroyed, two destroyed, and one destroyed. I mean, one gun, two engineers, two squads. But look at all these disabled. That's going to be huge because also it's going to take time and supplies to get these guys back in action. So, yeah, that's, that's intense. That's some good, good uh, stuff we got there. All right, uh, just a little bit of expansions, mostly Soviet, it looks like. Oh, Paushan, okay. Take a look at that. Um, I don't know if we need to go above three fortifications there, but it might not hurt to go a little bit higher in case the Japanese push in uh, through um, born, um, Burma. Okay. I think what I was seeing there is we're putting some guys in for rig fit, so that's fine. It's always, I want to keep these guys as up to date as possible. All right. A few, a few things, small things. I shall return. Um, okay, so I don't know why I wanted to start here, but you'll see there's a little uh, tag, if you can see it here. Uh, it looks like he's heading back out of the hex. Now, who's leaving? I couldn't tell you, but somebody is. And they may be in combat move, slowly moving out. Uh, it, when I say that, this is a major road, so slowly moving out on this major road is probably still pretty good clip, even in combat mode. But we have artillery reinforcements coming, uh, this will take only one turn. We will be there. The the, resol the resolution of this turn, the ninth, it will pop in here. May even be used for counter battery fire. I do not know, but it certainly won't be used for um, our bombard our uh, side of the bombardment. Um, I think for now, I, I was thinking about this um, for a while. Uh, and I was processing whether I should move the Amphib core, get our get our HQ up forward, keep it like up with our frontline units, especially if we start pushing them back. Here's the problem. He's got, look at this, let's say equivalent of two plus, well, we know he has more, he has two divisions here plus some um, independent units. This is like equivalent of one division, maybe uh, one, maybe um, like a division and some support units. So essentially he has three divisions plus, like a definitely sizable force. We barely have a division. We may have, if you count the three tank regiments that we have here, we you may say we have two divisions, let's say. Like say, for example, a, a tank division and an infantry division. That's not enough to go on the offensive up here, right? So the I probably the ideal is to keep bombing this for sure. Just pummel it, pummel it, pummel it, okay? Which is what we're doing. And um, hope that he pulls out. Now, I don't know if he's going to pull out because, um, well... I think he's going to pull out, right? I, I just don't know that for a fact. Uh, it's possible instead what he'll do, uh, and by the way, we have pretty good detection level here, 10 of 10. It's possible what he's going to do, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I think I've got him pegged and then I don't. I think what he's going to do is come over here with KB and cover uh, transports that will come here 
and load up and leave. Now, that's a 100% guess. The other thing he could, because here's why, here's why I say that. Why would he be withdrawing if he's just going to sit here? Now, if he sits here, he may sit here with the token force just to make it so I, like even a division size, I think would be really hard to knock out at this stage. So maybe, for example, if this stayed here, but he said, you know, I need to free these two divisions for action somewhere else, so I'm going to withdraw them. It's quite possible he will do that. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to put pressure here. I'll hold here, and I think we'll be we'll be very content sitting here and here, and we'll just keep flying recon and bombing, recon bombing, and just and then be uh, content sitting here. Um, just bombarding. Uh, I think I think that's totally fine. Uh, there's no urgency to do anything else. So uh, so I just wanted to kind of talk through that here. But when we look at this, um, he's got. I mean, we know what he has here. We saw it in the action, but he's got basically two divisions and some some support units so that he can build this base up. Uh, but this little feisty, uh, thing, I mean, we're bombarding 185 guns. We're not playing games here. And I like to come here, um, and, and click this to make sure we've got everything that can bombard. We've got them bombarding. And one of the same here, because I, in case something, um, just got repaired or something and we can activate, uh, uh, artillery. But uh, the other reason I came up here is to say, check this out. We're repairing, not very much. I mean, look at all these that are still damaged. But all six of these planes are heading out. And if he bombards, these are going to be destroyed. But I have a hunch his bombardment group has to come back here, replenish. And I'm sure he'll come back. I'm sure he'll come back and bombard. But maybe by the time he comes back, we can get these... Um, like at least this, these five, maybe a couple more. Uh, I can just, let's do this. Uh, these, maybe these three. Th this might take way too long. That's a shame. Uh, we can get this one out. I, I just think we'll be able to get um, some 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 of our groups out of here. I think we'll be okay there. Uh, this guy is harassing them. Probably very annoying. But that's that's what I'm trying to do. Um, that's my goal. So, yeah, we didn't get anywhere with this. I wanted to bomb him. Um, bomb his... Well, <laughs> I did bomb. I wanted to actually hit his ships, but what are you going to do? Um, now, the supplies here are not that good. So, and And we're not... We're not getting anywhere with that bombardment, so we'll switch to defend. And likewise, we will switch this to defend. Oh, it already is. Yeah, that was that was uh, a shame. Okay. Um. Yeah, he didn't attack here. That's surprising to me. I think he had he he couldn't beat him with the first attack. Mountain. Oh, that's probably. I think I noticed that last time. He probably decided. Well, maybe it's too weak. I need to do something stronger. So here we go. He's probably. I think he's going to attack with all those tanks. This. He's not going to wait for these guys. I don't think. But uh, look at that. Forty-seven damage. It's going to be a while before he can use that. I. I mean, he can't put fighters here, and he can't put fighters here. And so we'll, I'm going to keep bombing this. I, I could bomb the ground troops, but that's like a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. I feel like this is the play here. So, um, which reminds me, I kind of wanted to see, he didn't lose as much as I'd hoped. We only lost one air to air, but look at all those ops. Maybe our B-25 crashed on the way back. So, you know, five to seven. And, um, yeah, I, I would have thought this might be higher, but we'll see. Oscar, three, two air-to-air, -air, so our B-25 shot him down, and one ops. 
B-25s, we also lost three, except for a reverse, one air-to-air, -air, two dobs. Uh, B-18 Bolos, these things are not doing well. They are very unhealthy, F trying to fly over, I'm going to guess, around Pearl, looking for subs, and they're just getting uh, tore up. Jake, Val, he's losing the... The Jake we bombed in, in Kumag, Val probably um, out in the uh, Coral Sea or something. We lost a Liberator on the way back, and we lost a Dutch B-10, basically. So uh, as long as the fatigue isn't too high, we'll, we'll keep that bombing up. And it looks like we're okay. But I really uh, am very, I, I mean, I'm like more, I'm like more than very disappointed that we're not doing this sweep. So we have two more turns with this. Uh, well, one more. I'm, I have to remove it next turn. Uh, so if you cannot sweep, I'm I'm just tired of it. Uh, honestly, I'm tired of it. Whoops. Long range cap. Then at least you can fly cap over this. Seriously. Come on. Come on now. Please, at least do that, please. I mean. Um. So. And then what's going to happen is when I have to remove this uh, air unit and this air unit, which, by the way, hey, I can't have you guys another turn. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's have, I mean, you're going to be, they're, they're going to be a little bit um, uh, farther to fly, but that's fine. We'll be, we'll be disbanding. Uh, we'll be putting the pilots back in reserve, which means they can rest there and the, um, we'll withdraw the group. So it's, it's fine, but we got one more turn. We can use them to fly cap over these guys. Uh, these guys, I think, I mean, it looks like the, he hasn't turned off that toggle. He's coming. That's fine. Let's, let's dance. Um, and then we got more fighters up here, but they're too far away. So, uh, but, um, yeah. I try to squeeze a group of um, some hurricanes. Let's get these. Uh, which one? This is 3 2. Oh, what am I looking at? I don't want to look at the eyes. 4 3. Okay. Uh, this I think is going to, I, I'm going to move this because the idea is this is going to more or less only fly, uh, right now I'm going to stand up. This is going to only fly directly over Rangoon. So I'm going to use these really short range guys because Rangoon is probably my prime concern. So, um, we're going to go and... Transfer. Rangoon. What's going to happen is I'm going to have to remove that other um, hurricane group, and then this guy, this um, group, can um, fly in its stead. I'm going to keep these stood down. When I uh, when I When I withdraw this group, then then I'll put these guys up in the air uh, with that cap. So um, and then I, and then I think this air group here um, will do the same. Oh, they they uh, seem to be fresh. Maybe I'll do the same thing and. It looks like it's more or less already overloaded. Uh, I don't see why we're having problems, honestly. But I'll leave it be for now. Um, okay. I think we're okay with these two. The only thing is we have one, just one over air aviation support, but that shouldn't keep them from flying cap here. All right, so um, I'm all over the place because these these key things stood out in my mind: the bombing here, the the attacks, Philippines invasion here, 
this unit did get completely wiped out. Um, we can see it's in the ground units destroyed. Um, I don't know what that means, but I, I'm not rebuilding these Dutch units anyway. Um, so, and then this, this was at Makassar. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's, let's just jump back over here real quick. Um, nothing to see here. His subs, he, he, he may be pulling them from different, for different reasons. Now, because he's moving them away from Pearl, it is making me concerned. For example, is he covering places where we've gotten lax in and decided he's not there? So we're not going to worry about uh, escorts. Uh, we will find out probably sooner than I'd like. But um, and we lost our site here. Uh, it our detection level dropped. That's okay. I, I'm waiting for a few more days anyway. Um, but yeah, this is finally done unloading. And um, basically, I think what I'm going to do is transfer. Oh, this is what I want to do. Undock, transfer. Uh, let's pick... Maybe this one, and then move this one away. I, I don't even know if that, that AP might be too big. Yep, it's too big. So can we move this AP? Maybe this AP is too big also. Um, tonnage, yeah, wow, these things are massive. Okay. So uh, let's transfer something, an, an AK that has a lot of supplies, maybe unload them that much quicker. So maybe this. Okay. So what we're going to do is keep these guys docked, and maybe they'll unload quicker because of as a result. And this, of course, can't dock unfortunately because these ships are just too massive so uh in the meantime we're slowly getting this stuff offloaded i don't know for how long that's going to take and we may it just may never happen but uh we're working now on the airfield service damage but yeah so but we're getting our support almost up to full, so that's good. All right, enough of that. Um, for now, we can dock 6,000. We've got 4,600, so that's doing the best it can. Um, so moving to the – there's not really anything to talk about the West Coast. I wanted to show you Hornet's fixed, and it's um, – getting some experience out here over the 5234 um, leaving just outside of San Diego Harbor we're gonna see if we can um, get some experience for all these boats 736 just let them let them play around here in this little uh, 46 mile radius um, but yeah so, uh, okay, so this is going to Pago Pago. More troops for the South Pacific. Um, so, um, this is going to be some stuff at Pago Pago, some stuff. Anyway, it's in this. I think some stuff is going to be in this general area. Um, I may I may target that hex later. Okay. So the idea being, you know, just to be safe, and hopefully his sub is just static right there. Um, 
I, it's going, it's taking what feels like forever, but we also have some more troops coming to uh, this one here. Nope, that's going back. Okay, this one. Some more troops for uh, New Mayab. Or, well, no, this one's going to Luganville, the 9th Marine. So that's going to be very welcome arrival at, at Luganville. Uh, hey, I just thought of something. I'm going to jump over here. Um, I wanted to see where those six inches are coming from. Is it the, I mean, we've got some base forces here, so it's nice. But, um, not any of that. Nope. Port Morrisby Brigade, 25 pounders. Um, I'm at a loss for what we're using here. Oh, our AAF base force. That was that's nice that we got that in here. Six inch guns. Um, okay, so there's a couple of them. Apparently, we're firing some of these other guns at the beach as they're coming in. Maybe some of these 4.5 inch guns, various things here. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff here. And um, now I don't think we need this tank attack regiment. I didn't know he wasn't going to bring tanks. And, I mean, it looks like he has 97 of them here, but um, I don't remember seeing a tank. Well, let's take a look here. All right, I think it's going to be this. So, Port Moresby. So, he's got a division, division, naval guard unit, uh, AF unit. So, this is, the, these two units, I don't, I'm not sure what a naval guard unit has as far as the order of battle, but the, the or the table of equipment. But these two uh, are probably to build up the base for use by ships and planes. Uh, the divisions are there to take it. But it looks like we're possibly stymieing him here. So he he's probably going to need to go – he's going to need to reinforce this. If he, if he brings tanks – but, I mean, the Americans are doing such a good job here tying up three – equivalent of three divisions that he's only able to bring two here. And if he brings three or four, I mean, again, they're still being held up somewhere. Uh, the, this, uh, has stopped because of the damage here. Um, and, and I guess that's okay because it has to be okay, but, and we don't have a lot of engineers here, but, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get those aircraft off. And I just wanted to take a look at what units had what, uh, but it looks like we have a decent enough bombardment group. Um, also that reminds me, I may, um, get my B-17s in the action. I'm sure he's flying cap over it, but that's going to wear out his fighters. And especially if we wait, if he's flying cap over this right now, um, they're, they're taking, uh, fatigue. Uh, so I'm going to give it, let's, let's take a look here because these are repairing so slowly. Um, okay, it's just it's just too far away. What I may do is give it one more turn. How long do you need for? All right, and and these are projected dates, but still, that's a long time. So this is what uh, nine, twelve, fourteen. I've got fourteen bombers available. I am tempted to. Um, Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to flip these to be 70s. But here's the thing. I have to withdraw this by May 1. Is it worth flipping them to ease? And and uh, I just did this one recently. So what's the longest? 14. So it still would be most likely repaired by the time I withdrew it. Uh, I can't upgrade. Okay. It won't let me upgrade to ease. So, 
and I'm not going to draw. Uh, I don't want to waste more e D's here. I, I may withdraw this group. I may. I don't know. I'd like to use it. I, I hmm, I'll think about it. But uh, but yeah, I um, I may be. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do this turn anyway because I want to let him keep flying cap here a couple more turns, wear down his fighters. Then I'll also maybe I'll catch him by surprise. But I'd like to start bombing his troops here. Also maybe his carriers will move away. Now, I don't know where KB is, because this is not KB size groups. So it's making me slightly nervous, and I'll tell you why. Because I've got something about to happen here, bombardment of Kumak. So if he's going to park KB somewhere in here, well, I mean, it just, it could be KB is, uh, you know, getting ready to help somebody. Pull, I, I don't I don't know what he's doing, but I'm hoping this is enough coverage to catch if KB shows up. So we'll just stick to the plan. This is going to be slow enough as it is that we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for it before we um, pull the trigger. Plus, we have some destroyers here that are just going to park here uh, in surface combat mode because the idea is they're going to sit here and um, be somewhat like not pickets because um, because they're not out here but they're going to be if, if he has bombers in the area he's going to bomb them but there's another reason i've got them here if he has subs waiting for us then these destroyers will find them hopefully and and sink them so they're going to be here as an advanced party of this but I'm not going to use them in, in any bombardment action. Uh, and, and also, there's a third reason I brought it here. If he brings some transports to slink them in here quietly, which I don't know that he would do, it doesn't. it's not his MO, uh, then our destroyers could catch them off guard. Uh, but anyway, that's what we're doing there. And Luganville is a party. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, we are... Loading the eleventh EAB. We are unloading all this stuff. In fact, some of it already got out. It looks like quite a bit. Man, those naval supports really unload quickly. But um, I'm gonna undock this for now. Oh, I need these undocked. Um, this cannot dock. Because it's too, one of these uh, ships is too big. I can micromanage this, and maybe I will, but right now I'm just still looking around the map here. Uh, this for sure cannot dock. Um, but let's take a look at... Uh, see, here's what I want. I want the 8 10th EAB to be here and pick it up. And it's in combat mode, which is perfect. So since it is... But we've got some more elements coming. As soon as the 8 10th is off the ship, we'll load it up in, in, in um, amphibious mode and carry it up to Indeni. So that's all we've got heading there right now. Um, so I think, yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I'm going to flip everything to combat. So even all the newcomers. So we bumped this up to 346. Again, we're going to be reducing it by 126. So this will be uh, down to 220 when we're when all said and done. In fact, let's see. Also another 10. So okay, 210. Uh, yeah, it'll be down to 210 assault value. Now it is jungle. Now these two are jungle rough. It's a shame this also is not, but. Uh, but still times two, 220 times two, one division won't be able to take this. Plus, again, we are trying to get this up as high as we can, as quickly as we can to uh, protect for, from future invasion. So the port capacity is um, happening fast. With all these engineers, which right now some of them are temporary, with all these engineers, I think this might be two turns, but... Um, 
But yeah, again, we have this naval support and that's helping tremendously. But we, we just need to keep on loading and we're, that is happening. So uh, the 811th, uh, do we have some of it here? Yeah. So we've already got a good chunk of, well, we flew the, the 26 engineers in. Now we're dropping the uh, vehicles. So this is going to be pretty strong. The 810th, see this 27 and 13? Those are going to leave. So um, this will drop by 27 and this will drop by 13. So this will be 18 vehicles and um, 160 odd engineers. Still a pretty sizable engineering force. And this will go from two engineers to, uh, you know, plus 27, plus 13. So this will upgrade a lot faster. And then we can start thinking about air base, etc. The, capa the airfield capacity is good. The port capacity, not so good. So that's going to be a problem unless we get, can get some naval support also here. Um, I don't think these have any naval support, and they do not. We have a small, see this 4th Marine Defense Battalion? Yeah, that's not, um, it's not anything to laugh at, the 5-inch coastal gun, etc., but, um, you know, certainly uh, certainly a regiment could be a problem. However, uh, the, coast, the defensive guns might be problematic unless he bombards it also. Uh, and then this small unit has some 18-pounders and then some uh, really tiny aviation support. That's okay. We're not, we're not making this a major air base just yet. So we're... I'm, I'm very comfortable with the status of this, even as it is. But if we can get some engin more engineers here, all the better. All right. Um, I think I've covered uh, the things that I really wanted to uh, this turn. Um, so I am completely satisfied with wrapping this up. Uh, I don't think there's anything more to cover at this time. So... Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Looking forward to talking about April 9 turn resolution because I think it's going to be uh, very interesting. I'm interested to see what he's going to do in multiple areas. Oh, one more thing because um, China is, is still a thing. He bombarded us here, which I don't think we took any damage. He took very tiny bit himself. And um, other than that, it's it's kind of a status quo situation where nothing nothing stands out uh, as crazy. Uh, these guys, I'm just gonna look at them real fast. They moved. I think the distance traveled last turn said four, so now we're at nine. So they're moving roughly five miles a day. It's very slow, and so it's gonna take have it's gonna take probably about 15 plus 16 maybe days to get to you know um i'm trying to I thought i bumped this up but anyway i'm trying to get you now some supplies here um i think i'm i already said i'm comfortable here oh that's not true i thought okay so i thought i moved so maybe i just talked about moving anyway I want to move some guys up here. Do I? I think I do. So I'll look at that again. I don't know what happened. It seems like I did set them. But anyway, we'll get these guys, some of them, on track to get back into this hex. And then we'll have these three hexes covered. That'll weaken this one. But it is the most rugged. Well, no, this is the most rugged. Actually, this is the best terrain. So... We're going to retreat everybody here. Uh, one of the reasons I defended forward is to make him cross the river. But this is the most rugged. Everybody's going to retreat. So that's, that's the way it's going to go. And that's fine. I, the main thing is I don't want to get cut off behind. And maybe it's too late. Maybe he's already making some progress here. All right. Artillery moving toward Sion. And artillery moving toward... No, this is construction regiment moving toward Paoshan. And then um, every everything else seems like it's comfortable where it is. So, all right. Well, 
until next time, take care, and we will uh, see you next time. Bye.